give me nothing. All right, Brad Dubin, uh, first singles. Uh, you won six one six zero. Just talk a little bit about your match today. Um, the kid's forehand was really good. He hit it really hard. So what I tried to do is just keep it at his backhand, and he would lob it up. And then I would just play to my strengths, usually trying to hit my forehand to his backhand, and it worked out pretty well. With Karen Gill out, uh, you stepped up the first singles. Is that a little bit of a, a, a challenge for you, or were you ready for uh, it? I was ready for it because I've been playing some good kids, and the kid today was decent. So I just stepped up, and I thought I played well, well enough to win. And how about uh, talk a little bit about your season? You guys have been doing real well as a team. How about you individually? Where do you think you're at? Yeah, I'm really happy. It's my first year playing tennis, so I think I stepped in, fit well with the team, and I think the season's going great. This is your first year playing tennis as a yeah. whole, or varsity tennis? Well, tennis as a whole. Okay, so you just picked up the game yeah. and and you stepped right in. Yeah. What's been the biggest challenge for you? Um, probably just experience. I mean, these people have been playing their whole lives, and I just in this year but I'm loving it it's a good challenge what what prompted you to pick up tennis I was just playing with Corinne he's one of my best friends and I was just playing really well with him and he's like a really good player so I was like all right I think I want to play so I just decided to play I guess that's not a bad drill partner to have yeah. so, uh, just talk about your goals for the rest of the year um, I think just to do well in the state tournament and hopefully we can advance the states that'd be really cool I know we're right there with all the good teams so it should be exciting to see all right good luck to you Brett Thanks. thank you